Yo, what's up guys, AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video. We're gonna be playing this same uh character dragon dance team with Choice Bandit Guard Chomp and Choice Scarf Infernape. Like we have a lot of heavy hitters. Uh, one sweeper. Yeah, Mandy Buzz also pivoting around. Um yeah, I wanna get in an extra game with this team. Just a few extra games. And oh it's this stall. No, it's not stall actually, uh, but it's this team again. Yo, yo, a lot of times you'll see Ductrial and Golbat as a combination. But yeah, um. Just gonna lead up with my uh, Infernape. As it leads Ductrial, but that's fine, we're choice carved. And I can literally just U turn here. He might even earthquake on me. Yeah, that would be nice. And we can just go for should I Gyarados? I can Gyarados and Dragon Dance help out maybe. Nah, he has a gold bet. Yes, toxic. That could be annoying. He might have reversal actually. Um Gyarados, what does he do? This game. Mandibus does actually. Oh, we can go Mandibus, it's fine. He does earthquake me. Yeah, we can just fall player. Assuming he wants to get up rocks. Oh, he doesn't go for rocks, but the reversal's not gonna do much to me. Because I'm not a normal type. <laughs> I'm a dark type, but I'm also a flying type, so. There you have that. I wanted to keep Gyarados for the Weavile, because we actually don't have a good Weavile switch. <laughs> we have an Infernip, but I don't want to switch Infernip into Weavile. So, like I said, I'm gonna... Because I don't think Gyarados is gonna be too prominent this game. He does have a Brutaloom, which can live a nice Fang. He has a Gold Bed, which kind of stops me, because I cannot flinch him. And with Eevee Light, he can easily tank my hits. So I'm gonna use it to intimidate this, this Weavile. Still doing a shitload of damage, but uh, that's what it is. But now I'm gonna go into Infernape with him being intimidated. I'm gonna take a bit less damage. Of course he's gotta crit me though. Come on, dude. Seriously, man. Okay, so... I do need to weaken him. Like, I need rocks. I, I just don't beat Colbert that, that easily. But I do need damage on him, so I'm not gonna try to click a waterfall on him to get some chip probably gonna try to okay his taunt on his pokemon has uh, fine he might actually not have haze maybe it's hold up i'm going to mend the buzz here that's taunt toxic okay it's actually good to know gonna roost here. I, I actually hope he doesn't roost here. And it seems like the logical play. Uh, if he actually gives me this damage, I'll take it. Oh, he actually taunts again. Perfect. Because now I can go into my um, to my dragon. Taunt him instead. I get a useless crit, but... Uh, it's okay. I'm just gonna taunt here. I don't want him roosting up. Actually stays in. Is he gonna bravert me? Oh, I'm fine if he does that. U-turn, okay. The taunt toxic U-turn. Oh, hold up. He doesn't have bravert then. Hold up. Okay. Mm. Thing is, I'm never gonna get up rocks versus him. He has a Rotom. However, 
His school bet is low. I need I need this guy to click Dragon Pulse on his school bet, so it sucked that he crit my Goku. So I honestly think my dragon might not be that much needed here. Or do I sack hip out? I'm actually, I'm actually sacking hip out in there. Um, I'm gonna keep Mandibus for the guard jump. And if he only gets two hits, that would be helpful. We're gonna try getting on rocks. Okay. I think I'll just spam Staldra here. If I can get up rocks. I'll spam Staldra, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't care if he kills me here. Actually, um, I think I have to care. Because I need to keep him out in as a second. He can, I, can, I cannot one-hit KO his team. Uh, so I'm gonna go into High Dragon and we're just Dragon Pulsing this, weakening this. He's using Willow as pull up. Now I can actually taunt him. It's good to know that he has this set. Okay. Uh, now I'm actually in a, in a lead position. Because um, I can taunt him. We prevent Stealth Rock. It sucks. It did suck that he did. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Taunt. Garchomp. On the Volt Switch. Now I can Dragon Claw to it, KO him. With a choice band, because I think it's a defensive goal bet. I think it's a def. Yeah. We're off. He's using defog. Um, do I kill Golbat? With this mon. Do I allow him to burn me? No. I thought I would do it, Kaon, but apparently he's a bold nature. Okay, that works. What he's lacking Hydro Pump, I see. But now I cannot switch into my uh, Guard Jump anymore, so I am going to taunt him. I don't care if the Volt Switch now. Um, I keep up Rocks. Weaver comes in on Rocks. Guard Jump comes in on Rocks. Golbat comes in on Rocks. I have Hippowden as a sec on Hippowden, uh, on his Weaver. This is also kind of why I kept Mandibus for this Pokemon, so I can actually U-turn on him. Please don't be... Please don't be... Um... Substitute. I'm gonna U-turn here. He's doing Stone Edge, oh no. Do I actually have to speed die with this? He's fully physical though. Okay, what I'll do. I'll do this. Go into Hip Out and on the Stone Edge, and then I'm gonna go into Garchomp. Because I don't want him defogging still. You're actually running double stealth drug, are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna go for the speed tie. Please. You're intimidated, so... 
Let's just do it, Gale. And with this gun, I can actually keep my uh, keep my Bowden, so I will keep him. Weavile is the one that comes in. Still has that Pokemon alive. Um, high school spare coming my way. Or second high dragon there. I think that's a better sec. Gyarados can still do something against Golbat, I think. Can go into this. And we U turn there. Assuming he wants to go into Golbat. Statement uh, uh, 2.8. I'm gonna start speaking Dutch. <laughs> um, okay, let me infer. I need to know if I knock him out of here. Infernape, you turn. You turn us. Okay, he's physical and defensive. So. Guard jump plus one. If Dragon Claw, Claw kills him, I will go for Dragon Claw. But... 15, 36, 245. Okay, that's actually. So that's assuming he's max defense. 33. Actually, need to stone at you. Okay. Luckily, we do not come out there. We'll go Gyarados here on the we'll set Gyarados, but I get the Intimidate off. We know he's Choice Bandit. Infernape does still live another Stealth Rock turn. So now I can click Close Combat with the Choice Scarf. Second Breloom. And I hope he isn't he isn't mock punch. Would suck. Most Brelooms aren't, so I'm gonna hope if he is mock punch then I have to lose if he's mock punch actually. Okay. Works. In comes the Garchomp. I'm gonna sec my Garchomp. Kinda have to. Boy, I can bring in Hip Out and heal myself up. I still win the speed tie as well. Hold up. Nice, okay. And my Hip Out should not die to Ice Shard. My opponent should not die to Ice Shard, so I should be able to select that off. Um, he is at... okay, he's still at too much HP, so... Yeah, so as long as he doesn't crit my hip out, then I think we win. So I should not die to Ice Shard. Not over 40%, right? 
Yeah, boy. Oh, why didn't I earthquake him, actually? I, I, I kind of threw that. Should have earthquake them, because if he crits me here, I, I still lose. Okay, he doesn't crit me. Good shit. <laughs> Rough. Yeah, we have, we have no Weavile switch in. We do have Infernape to kill him, but... Yeah, everything is said with that, though. <laughs> so, we're gonna queue up again, and hopefully we're not facing Weavile. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not much I can do, but... You know, I, I picked this team randomly. Uh, just put a few months together. Just wanted to play a few games. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pause the video till we find a battle again, guys. Be right back. Okay, 10 seconds before our next game. Uh, it's gonna be our last game. I don't feel like playing another one. Yeah, let's see. Don't show me Weavile, please. Oh, this kind of team again. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? Um, it's definitely an offensive... Um, Thing. Let's see. Gyarados yeah, seems pretty decent. I want to reveal Choice Carve on my map yet, though. I do want rocks up, it's, it's gonna be a rough game. Um, Melee with Garchomp, we'll go from there. Golbat comes in, yeah, there's nothing I can do about Golbat. Just so weak to that Pokemon. Only my Hydreigon uh, can kind of be... My Hydreigon is actually pretty decent. With Focus Blast, it beats Empoleon. So we'll just go into this. And a Toxic. There's, there's nothing I can do about Toxic, so... I'm actually gonna foul play here. Um, no, I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna stay in. He can bring in Empoli and he can do a bunch of shit. So I'm just gonna U-turn. There's no point in foul playing there. He goes into Empoli and right now. And how am I dealing with this? So I'm gonna try uh, bringing in this. Garam, and yeah, we'll just shoot turn. Maybe he's gonna stay in, but uh, Doom Golbat comes in, and this is where I can bring in Hydreigon, and we can go for the nasty plot on the Empoleon, perhaps. Um, where are you, Hydreigon? There you are. He has a Volcarona as well, so that actually wouldn't make any sense at all. But he does go into Empoleon, so I get a nasty plot up. And we're gonna click Focus Blast, and I need to kill this. It's one of the resists to Empoleon. So if I can just Focus Blast him, connect, awesome. So I can Dragon Pulse on the next turn. He also took Stealth Rock damage. Goodbye, goodbye. We have Gyarados for Volcarona. This is so scary for him, though. And he has to switch into Waterfall as well, so we are going into Gyarados right now. I'm gonna go in for a nap. Just waterfall. Assuming he's gonna go into uh, the gold bed, but I get leftovers recovery back, that's why I'm staying in. I actually, go Stogicus. That's interesting. Why? I need. I wanted to damage this. Unless you're 
Unless this has T wave. Unless this has T wave, but then he's lacking either Nasty Blood or. Okay. I'm gonna click uh, Ice Fanger, hopefully on the Gold Bed. Now he actually stays in. I'm not sure why. Yeah, he's weakening me for for Corona. I see. I see. You're weakening me for Volcarona. Makes sense. I'm still getting leftovers recovery. Um, I still have Garchomp plus Infernape to kind of check bulk. And getting rid of Togekiss is also really helpful. He's gonna go into Ghoul Bed now. I'll switch out. Uh, actually goes Dougie. Um, I mean. Next time I can click Stone Edge though, so. How bad is it even for me? I'm considering staying in and attacking him. I'm really considering. Um, I'm gonna go into this. We'll play it slower. I can still debug on... Um, let's go for Stone Edge. Let me sh see. That's, that looks to be Choice Bandit though. Looks to be Choice Bandit. He isn't. Okay. I want to see how much I do to um, Espion. Because if he if he's a timid set, then I can. Uh, okay, that's bold. Um, okay. Protect. Does he have L What else does he have? I don't think it's Taunt Golbet, so I can definitely trade rocks versus him. He does 43. Um, I can still switch versus him, so... That's a high roll, by the way. I didn't know, I didn't know Stone Edge would do that much to me, though. But, uh, I did waterfall him. Um, no, okay. I'll earthquake him here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that sucks. I needed to earthquake there uh, to knock him out. Okay. I think he's only running psychic, though, because they are usually running the thumb pass. So, what I can try is do this. Then we just uh, double into Chomp. Because he can go Dark Trio, but it's fine. If I can kill you, uh, I'll take it. Um, Guard Chomp. I might actually knock him out with Dual Chop. Guard Chomp versus Dark Trio. The old chop. That's one. 
level 50. I think that might be a kill. Yeah, I can I can just I can just dual chop him. And that's Duck Trail gone. So now my uh, Infernip is free to click uh, Stone Edge. Um, it's gonna go into Ape Down. There's no way he clicks Psychic on me. Nice. Okay, cool. So we connect Stone Edge, surprise him with the Choice Scarf, and now I can use High Dragon to beat Golbat. And his Espion doesn't touch my uh, own High Dragon, so that really helps. And my opponent decides to forfeit. Like it's, it wasn't doable for me killing the Golbat, but we managed to kill the other mods. And by getting up Stalled Rock, uh, I felt like I had so much mileage over him. Actually, let's let me check out the ranking. We're seven fifty six point forty seven. I uh, just just to show you guys, seven fifty six point forty seven is fifty six. Let's rank seventy eight. <laughs> Not that it matters much. Um, yeah, that was kind of interesting. Um, I guess. It, I guess he didn't know about my choice scarf ape. Luckily, um, lucky, luckily he didn't know because uh, that was the way to surprise the poker. And obviously, if I miss, that would ho suck her horribly, <laughs> horribly. But I don't think he knocks me out unless he has psychic. So I would have gotten a second chance uh, to click Stone Edge. But yeah, then he can go into Espion, which actually healed up. And yeah, I just needed to hit that one, and luckily we did. Yeah, Stone Edge. Maybe maybe Rock Slide for those situations, but Stone Edge also hits Garrod, stuff like Gyarados, and... Um, either flinching, but Stone Edge can crit. Running two Stone Edges, it's a bit scary. Yeah, the Dual Chop. This is why I like Dual Chop. Uh, just to kill Focus Edge users, but also you uh, kill... Uh, sub sub bloom users and block their focus punch because that's really huge as well. So they usually don't see it coming, and me just dropping the folk uh, the dual chop. Uh, I also thought I was I missed against the because my dual chop felt like it was delayed, so I felt like oh no I missed. <laughs> Luckily we didn't. Yeah, yeah. I mean this team, it's not the greatest. I'm not really comfortable, but like I said, I just randomly picked these mods. I just wanted to make a video, a few videos with this team. And yeah, um, a lot of, we have a lot of offensive pressure though. But if we face things like Golbat, Weavile, it's just, like, like I said, we don't have a Weavile switch. Infernip is not a Weavile switch. Infernip can only come in uh, one time or maybe two times uh, to Weavile. Uh, we did have him intimidated as well, but he crit us, which sucked. Uh, I kind of would like to use defensive uh, ape though. Seems pretty interesting. Uh, the only scissor sets that does something against this acrobatics, but you don't see acrobatics too much. Since it has close combat, uh, it pretty much kills everything after Swords Dance uh, with close combat. So I feel like... Uh, with a life warp, of course, so if you run Flying Gem, then it reduces your close combat power. But yeah, that's enough talk, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give me one of these. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are really close to uh, 3,000 subscribers, so I hope we can get it uh, before the end of the month, before the end of August. And yeah, join our Discord server, leave a comment down below, check out the team on Patreon, and guys, um, I'm gonna keep mentioning this. Uh, if you'd like, uh, I would, I would appreciate uh, some in-game donations through mail. You can mail me maybe a bit of money, and uh, I can change move sets with the money, buy new mods, and it just relieves um, pressure on 
um, farming the money myself because doing the gym reruns takes a lot of time. So I've spent two hours a day grinding a, a Pokemon, four hours actually for a Pokemon. And I can use that time to actually make videos for you. Um, the previous donations really helped me in dishing out the consistent uploads. Uh, that's why I'm going to keep asking uh, if you can spare 20k, 50k. It doesn't have to be much. That, that really doesn't have to be much. But every little bit matters. And that means I can spend less time on farming the money myself. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.